Kevin's boss gave him the task to locate and remove pythons within the Amazon rainforest, something he had done many times before. However, the hole he found on this day was no ordinary hole. When he tried to enter it, the snakes inside became very aggressive. He felt that their natural instinct was to protect something underneath them. Kevin decides to go down into the hole slowly to avoid the snakes developing overprotectiveness. He also wanted to avoid injuries and try to calmly find out what these animals protect in order to avoid a deadly attack. In addition, the snake he saw was even bigger than he was in person. This means that he can tear it apart in a matter of seconds. The various snakes congregated in the center of the hole, so they had to be sedated to allow Kevin to descend and discover the hidden object below. Kevin called for support to make it easier. He also needed help to ensure that the process went smoothly so that he didn't get hurt in any way. He also wanted to make sure that the animals would not be harmed as well. Fortunately, the support needed arrived very quickly. Kevin's classmates give him some well-made protective gear and shoot narcotic darts at the snakes. When Kevin finally entered, he was shocked by what he found there. Sometimes, the snake pits are expected to be deeper than they appear and to be filled with more snakes than they otherwise would be. One was under the hole. For a few months, Kevin and his colleagues had been doing their best to find snake holes in the forest. They wanted to make the Amazon safer for everyone, but this was a difficult task for them. Snake pits occur naturally and are not easy to spot. Snakes also keep leaving each other to make new holes so they can't be confined to just one place. Tracking down pit snakes was rather slow and difficult. Access to the forest was very difficult due to the bad roads, and the snakes were certainly good at hiding. The team also ran the risk of accidentally falling into snake pits. Lighting was very limited in the dense forest, and some of the craters were covered in leaves. Some of them were deeper than they appeared. Another challenge is the local people who tend to protect their lands as best they can. Whenever they notice something strange sneaking up on it, it means a great threat. These locals worship snakes and prefer not to touch the pits because they are sacred. Locals even threaten businesses that get there. But since Kevin was actually hired by the government, they had to get the job done. The government gave them a strict deadline and the stipulation was that if they did not beat it, they would not be paid. Kevin thought it would be best to separate from the team and find these snake pits on his own. Unfortunately, it didn't work out and it was a bad idea. He came across something scary in the vegetation and didn't have enough support. It was the largest anaconda he had ever seen. He wanted to run, but the anaconda prevented him. Since the path he was going to take was now closed, he chose to run into the inner part of the forest. He had never gone in this direction before, so it was all new to him. The anaconda was right behind him, quickly following him. He knew he had to keep running because if the giant snake caught up to him, it would be the end of his life. But suddenly, the strangest thing happened. Anaconda stopped running after him. He had a feeling that he had suddenly entered an area far away from the serpent region, and indeed he was right. It was the place inhabited by the natives who never had contact with anyone from the outside. They also posed a danger to him and demanded his return. Then he saw a snake niche. He also discovered the largest snake pit his eyes had ever seen on it. In a hole, he saw some giant snakes desperately guarding something. Kevin was so curious and gathered his courage to enter. This was a wrong plan because he felt dizzy on his way down. He passed out, but when he finally came to his senses, he realized he had been drugged. He was hit by an arrow before going down into the hole. Simply put, Kevin has become a captive of the aborigines. They put him in a cage next to the hole, and Kevin felt that they were going to offer him as an offering that night. He had to find a way out and seek help. For this, he had to somehow obtain a backpack that contained a warning gun. He can use it to alert his teammates, where he found that bag next to the cage he was in. Kevin grabbed his warning flare gun as fast as he could and fired it. By doing so, the natives were frightened because to them, this was a sign of war, and they would have preferred to avoid it. His support soon arrived, accompanied by the army. They seal off the area and then remove the snake pits. Kevin told his team that there was something important under the crater that these indigenous people held sacred. Kevin was determined to get off after the snakes were drugged, and when he got back up, he was panting heavily. He just saw a giant snake underneath that had a huge bulge. 
Obviously, something was causing the bloating, and they had to remove it. His colleagues were not in favor of the idea, even reminding him that this would only make the situation worse. Kevin persisted, and that's when they came up with a plan. They decided to contact the nearest local vet. After the phone call with the vet, one of Kevin's colleagues gave the vet's report to the rest. The snake could be pregnant and about to lay her eggs in the center of the hole. This was just a belief, and they had to confirm it. So the vet asked them to try and figure out exactly where the swelling was. In order to do this, they had to raise the snake to the surface. Most of Kevin's classmates weren't willing to do that. When she arrived, the vet waited patiently for the workers to turn the snake's head to the other side, and then she anesthetized it. When it was all over, Kevin's team finally sighed with relief because getting him out of the hole meant they faced death. They were relieved that they were still alive. The vet can finally examine the giant python. The vet brought out the surgical instruments and set them up before beginning to search for the answers the team had in mind. The snake had to be opened so you could be sure those were eggs. But it turns out to be something that the snake swallowed. The snake was unable to digest it. There is only one thing left for the vet to resolve this situation. She had to open it carefully considering all the risks that would result from performing the surgery. However, there was no other choice. I continued working carefully until the contents of the bulge were revealed to the entire team. It was unexpected. The snake swallowed a plastic box. And while the vet didn't know what it was, the workers told her. And then they realized exactly what had happened. This box was the missing cooler in which they stored perishables, such as meat. The meat inside was gone, and because the cooler smelled bad, they left it in the truck. But they didn't understand how the snake found it, despite how safe it was to be stored. Maybe he sniffed the cooler and thought it was prey for a moment. After removing the cooler, the vet stitched the snake up. The plan after sewing was to wake the snake up in hopes that it wouldn't be too violent for it. It took two minutes for the snake to fully wake up. It was a slow start, but after a while, he quickly crawled away. The vet had to do one last thing, which was to thank everyone for helping her make the surgery safe. Then she left for the city to see more of her patients. She also implanted a chip in the snake to help her monitor it. They all finally get a happy ending.